Hey guys, this is Tyler from Socrates Training. It is uh, Friday here. It's very sunny here. I'm just out walking. I'm going to discuss something and this is a very important topic for day traders there. And that's how to suppress high levels of anxiety while day trading. This is a huge problem for many day traders and it's an issue that often persists with day traders even that have been in the game for some time. It's it's very challenging often to deal and cope with high levels of stress while trading. This is also different from person to person and how they respond. It's just like when some people get more stressed, they eat a lot. Other people can't eat at all and will even get sick if, if they're stressed. I would be in the first category of the two. Now for day trading though, the key to remember here is that this is a profession, this is a job, and this is how one has to approach it. This isn't like gambling, you're not going to a casino, you're not doing the bango, you're, you're doing this to, to make profit, to make consistent profit. So the first thing here is just not using too much money when you're trading. Never put too much money in one stock trade. Two instances in my life, I've put over $40,000 in a single stock trade. Both instances, it went bad. In one case, it was really bad. I lost a huge sum of that, that money. And especially when you're doing micro cap stocks. If you're putting a large sum in lar large cap stock, it's different. I mean, you can probably put more and be pretty safe, but these small cap stocks can be like crashed the following day for any reason. And there's just a lot of issues here. The next thing is to understand that when you're trading, stocks naturally have upward momentum. So a stock may go down like uh, 5%, 10% or even more, but if it's a decent stock, it, it's likely to to recover a bit. I, I've had stocks that have been down like 70% and that have now regained like 50, 60% of, of that loss from like four months ago. Stocks naturally have upward trajectory. Most likely if they're decent stocks, the stock's going to go back up at least somewhat. And this is important. Now the next thing is the environment that you're putting yourself in. When you're day trading, you want to be in a very concentrated environment. You want to be very focus if there's a lot of tension and stress around you living or whatnot you should probably move you should probably find or find an area that's not as stressful many um many traders don't understand that you have to put a lot of importance on small things small things mean a lot when you're trading the next thing is to is to minimize your losses and that's putting good stop losses on your on your trades you never want to risk more than 10% or 5% better yet of a of a position. So what I mean by that is if you put $1,000 on a stock trade, you never want to have a stop loss that's more than that's minus $50 of this trade. This is important because as the stop loss goes down further your ability to hold the stock longer goes down you also risk taking a lot of losses. And this is what people often don't understand. Stock traders aren't, they don't go out of business because of their wins. It's, or not having wins, it's because they have too big of losses. This is key here. The last thing is being intentional about the learning process and developing a system that works for you. These, th these aspects will enable you to have more confidence, more, drive when you trade and you'll, you'll just be long-term successful. So this is my, my advice and give me your feedback. Thank you.